All right. Larry at, G, at uh, TJR Sim. And again, Project Cars 2. Let's continue on our quest. Uh, knock out some of these GT3 cars. See which one's kind of worth your time and what's what's a go and no go uh, kind of thing. So like I mentioned in the first one, the Continental, the Bentleys, they're all pretty much the same. <clears throat> Different color schemes. That's a 2015, 2016. I don't know what year this one is. Oh, 2016. Sorry. It says right there. Boom. GT3 Endurance. Oh, okay, so that's set up for more endurance. There's the difference, but drivability-wise, they're the same to me. So let's check this one out. Do a practice session here. You may hear my dog barking in the background. See what this one feels like. I think I remember it was actually pretty good. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. Let's try it out. Tuning setup just to keep it easy for anybody. Start off with stable setup for these tracks, unless you just like loose, you know. Try them both out, see what you like. nice carbon fiber everything in this puppy such a beast of a car man it looks cool fire extinguisher some good front end feeling some shaky 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 it's pushing a little bit here the tires are all blued up Funny how low the uh, tire pressure is actually on this for just a stable setup. I wish. Oh yeah, feels good. Gives good feedback through the wheel of what you're feeling going over curbing and stuff. Back end doesn't slip out on you or nothing. Nothing like that, even with cold tires. So it's pretty stable. Pretty easy car to drive, actually. Pushes a little bit. A little bit of oversteer there, just trying to get it to step out on me. It does got some push in it. A little bit of understeer. Handles those bumps real good, though. It's not a real bumpy car like, uh, say, the Porsche. Mirror's freaking huge. Uh, it feels nice going down that hill, up this other one. You get a good uh, feedback from the tires going down and up these hills where it's just, you feel it pushing on the tires, you know? Pretty damn cool. Oh, yeah, there we go. I hate these graphical glitches you get in this game. Kind of takes the immersion away. You're able to pour on the power just full throttle out of these corners and uh, not really worrying about spinning up. Riding the curb in there was no problem. So you don't have to worry about putting a tire wrong with this car too much. So good, uh, good beginner car, really. Man, the car looks kick-ass. It's a Bentley, man. Rides smooth, like a Bentley. Shifted a little too much there, but oh, whatever. And again, I am using Fanatic V2 wheel and V3 pedals.
pushes, pushes, pushes. I had to tap the brake a little bit there. Couldn't get it to turn in. It may not have had the most optimal line through there. Oh, 30, 20. Oh, yeah. Did not have a good line through there. But it did get a delta best by half a second. Oh, yeah, you feel it gripping them tires. This is a bumpy track. Good test track. Another Delta Best right there. So it's pretty easy to shave off some time once you get your lines down a little bit better. Full throttle through there. Once I got it set up for the turn. There you go, 129090. Almost getting into the 128. So this is it's a good testing on this car. It's good to go. I don't need to test it really any any more than we have. So yeah, that's a go. I would I would definitely start with that car. Return to pit box, skip to end. I skipped the end, just maybe thinking that it may keep my times. 129. See what's the best here? 128. So yeah, it's still got some room to go, of course. Exit. All right, let's check out the next one. So that's the Bentley. The Bentley's a go. I would definitely recommend that car. It feels real good. Uh, similar, actually, to the Ferrari as far as you don't you don't put a wheel wrong. So I like that car actually. It's really nice. Let's try the Zanetta out. G55 GT3 2017 model. Newer should be better, right? Let's see. I got my window open. It's a really nice day here in Texas. It's like, uh, I don't know, in the 50s right now. So you may hear a little bit of doggies out there barking. You go stable. Get on with this puppy. Ooh, that seemed, seemed too low. Too high, rather. This car looks cool. Go, go, go. Oh, that's a neat looking shifter. Look at that thing. Huh. I didn't know this was a stick. I'm going to use the paddles, though. Okay, just a reminder, the tire is a cold, so the car will be a handful. Don't push on the outlap. Let everything get up to temperature before you start pushing. Yes, sir. Okay, maybe I will use the manual here. Pushes, oh shit, pushes and oversteers. Sounds weird. Gearing's a little bit off for this track. That's something you want to adjust for track. It's not too bad, but it's a little bit off. Oh yeah, good little, good little controlled uh, rear end slide there. This car sounds like poo. <laughs> sounds like someone that's just shitting constantly. Excuse my language. Does not sound good. Drives pretty good though. It's good turn in though. Big mirrors. Uh, the rear view mirror is definitely in the wrong place. You get on the power pretty hard here without uh, worrying about wheel spin or anything. So that's good. 
But yeah, you definitely gotta look over to see what's behind you. Good turn in, real good. Oh man, you feel the grip on the front end there through the tires going down that hill. That was actually really good. It is plagued with a little bit of oversteer if you put a tire wrong. But looking out of the car, it's actually it's a pretty cool looking car. Feels like a race car with the dolls and stuff on it for sure. All that going on. Have little toggles. Able to pour on the power pretty good. You don't have to feed it. You can just slam full throttle and go for it. So, fairly easy car to drive, actually. Handles bumps real good. Doesn't uh, go sitting you everywhere. I think the gear is a little... I keep reaching down for another gear to be in the kind of the power curve of it. But uh, it's got a, I guess, a pretty flat torque curve on this car, so it's I generally like more higher revving engines. Must be from my uh, motorcycle days. Oh shit. Oh shit, I already turned a 129.9 first lap. That's pretty good. This is a car you end up going fast in, but you didn't realize it. Not bad, not bad at all. It gives a lot of feedback, real similar to the uh, Ferrari, and that one I think is kind of the best as far as feedback goes. But uh, it just sounds like poo. If you can get past the sound, <laughs> it's not a bad car. Maybe you do like the sound, I don't know that sputter 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 sound but it has really good feet uh, feedback you can definitely tell what the car is doing the curves the mirror placement is a little bit of a pity and the gear needs to be adjusted so yeah this is a win car but uh it does have some downsides but the best thing is, is that is the handling the handling is really good go ahead and stop here on the track because that's just you know not polite so yeah that feels actually really good it's a stick shift being a stick shift it actually shifts pretty fast with a paddle shifter so I like this 12907 this one you can get into 128 really quickly uh, with just uh, just a little bit of practice that's just two laps right there let's get to the end so Janetta is a win definitely worth your time on that one I like it. I like it. Feels good. It just it's not a screamer, which I normally like a little bit of the screamers like the Ferraris and stuff, but uh yeah, it's it's a good. Let's try the GTR. This one I wasn't happy with earlier, but or yesterday rather. This is a new day. Actually, oddly enough, I love this car in a Seto Corsa. It is one of my favorites in a Seto. See if I feel different about it today. Give me a little bit of a drink. No, not pitch strategy, tuning. We'll go stable. Uh, see, so get down a little bit. It looks cool. GTR. Go, go, go. Oh, it sounds badass. Woo. I think you can see my emails popping up.
turn in is horrible. Definitely kicks in traction control a lot. So it has a hard time putting the power to the ground. It's a screamer though, I like that. Uh, it's kind of uh, fighting with oversteer. I know the tires are cold, but some of the other cars did better even with cold tires. Takes a lot of steering effort. Oh shit. Definitely got to be smooth with this ride. The gearing is really good on it though. See how it fills the second lap, get a little bit of more heat in the tires. Definitely got to work this car or this car takes a lot more uh, concentration out of you Yeah, you could not go full throttle down that hill. Whoa, baby Cars a handful. Yeah, I don't really care for this car. <laughs> just leave it at that. I don't really care for this car. It sounds badass. Garen's nice. It's just really loose. It understeers and oversteers like crazy. So it's not going to be a car, I mean if you love the car, love the way it looks and really want to make it work, you're going to spend some time in the tuning, tuning this one definitely before you go online because you're not going to be very competitive with it, or not even online, just single player, not going to be very competitive with this car without some practice uh, for each track and getting some good suspension uh, tuning setups. So see your race engineer. Oh man. It's hard to get through a lap even. Put a tire wrong, man. You are screwed. Just not a lot of traction. You get good feel going through that turn there. Good mid corner feel, it's, it feels nice. It's just changing transitions here. Getting on the throttle, yeah, you gotta be really careful with getting on the throttle down there. Let's see if I can make a clean lap here. You just cannot pour on the power too aggressively with this car. You gotta get pointed a little bit more straight. Uh, before you start getting into the throttle hard. You do not want to hacksaw this car around like I just did. You know, it didn't bite me, but uh... Yeah! This was a handful. This is not a car that I recommend. For beginners, I think after you get a little bit acclimated to it, though, it, I mean, you can you can drive it. You just got to be on your toes because it wants to step out on you pretty hard, pretty easy. That said, still turned to 130, 233 after getting a little bit acclimated up with it. Well, it took three laps, four laps to get in and get uh, adjusted to the car. But uh, yeah, don't like it.
Uh, I mean, you know, it's not horrible, but it's not, uh, I don't suggest you waste a lot of time on that car if you're just wanting to get out there and be fast. So I say a pass on the Nissan GTR, which is a shame because I normally love that car in a set of Corsa. And it's a little twitchy in a set of Corsa, but uh, not as bad. Let's see how many more we got. So let's go through the Hurricane. I'll stop this video after the Hurricane. GT3. Demon, what is that? Demon Tweets? It's a weird looking paint job. And then we'll go to a part three video for the next ones, I think. Just so we don't keep this too long. It's probably at 20 so minutes now. Let's see what this uh, Lambo's worth. It's really cool to see Lambo's in uh, Project Cars 2 now. I just feel so prestige. Go stable. Boom, drive. That's a big ass dash. Got a rear view. Looks nice, all carbon fiber bits. Huracan GT3. What's that box for? Battery maybe? Controller back there. This is a cool looking car. Oh, it's a screamer. I like screamers. a little bit of, I feel some good, uh, good tire rolling, going down that hill. Not too bad, not too bad. A little bit dead at around 20-30% on the wheel, turn in. It's a screamer. A lot of feedback through the wheel on the straights, what the car's doing. A little bit of oversteer. It's not as picky as the GTR. Not as nimble on its feet as the Ferrari. Feel some bumps and tire rolls. Actually, it's a pretty good car. The fact that I'm not spinning out just on the first uh, lap is good. The gearing is really optimal. Got a little bit of push on that heel there. I may not have the most optimal line. Even though it has the uh, display down there, it's really in the wrong spot. Needs to be a lot higher up so I can see what's going on. But I do prefer the rear view uh, LCD cameras though. Left mirror is in a pretty good spot though when you're turning. Right when you can't see at all. It's got some push in the corners for sure. But it has really good feedback. Uh, you feel the tires uh, in the corners, and that's that's okay. If I got some push, as long as I'm feeling what the tire grip is, I'm okay. And this one, you feel it. Oh yeah, feels good. A lot of bouncy bouncy. Can't get on the power quite as hard there without it wanting to push too much, but not bad. 130, 166. I think we can hit 129, it's pretty easy. It does have some understeer. You can't get on the throttle too aggressively. 
gearing's really optimal for this track. I mean, you can go all the way down the first gear there. Yeah, this is a race car. Well, this is a pretty fun car. It screams and gives good feedback with the tires of what they're doing. Skipping across these bumps uh, to the, uh, actually this the tire rolls and bounces. So just feeling like the tire's flexing on you even. It's uh, mid-corner there. It's really good. Very close to the Ferrari. I would say it's on par with the Ferrari. Uh, probably a tie right now for one of my faves. 129, 155. Yeah, you can get into the 129s pretty quickly. I think 128s are pretty possible really fast on this car. Uh, I think the LCD should be up higher, but hey, you know, I'm not going to get them to redesign the car for y'all. <laughs> Alright, that's the last look at these GT3s. And uh, turn the pit box, skip to in, continue. Let's see, next up. For this and see the hurricane was the last so we'll continue the video with uh, doing the M6 we'll probably try to knock out the rest of them here on the next video so alright stay tuned for the next one part 3 this is part 2 of the GT3's so far I think the winner out of this the part 2 of GT3's is probably the hurricane uh, and with the uh, second place being the uh, Continental and third the GTR uh, I'm sorry, uh, third being the G55 GT3, Janetta. Uh, it's actually a pretty close tie between the Janetta and the Continental. Even though I don't like the sound of the Janetta, I was pretty fast, pretty easy with that one. And uh, But the Hurricane, you just have so much feel, uh, so lively. It's just a lively car, so it feels really good. So that's, that's first place there. So far, I think we're tied between the Ferrari 488 and the Hurricane. GT3 as far as uh, feel of the vehicle. So anyway, we'll catch you next time. Hopefully this is helpful to y'all. And uh, it's actually fun as hell for me to drive. So we'll see you next time.